<clears throat> Hello. Mario. What's going on? Nothing. A long DOS ahead of us. We are starting 22 today. Yeah, it's a long one. Huh? It's a long one. Yeah, he wanted to do two today. I don't think so. Why? We're one behind? We are one behind. Yeah, 23 is long. They're all long. It's all a god to tough. 24 is long. Advise, it's all long. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Better off waiting till 27. Better off waiting till the next Masakta. The last page. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, neighbor. Hey, where are we holding? 22. 22. 22. Okay, got it. We're holding in the longest pages in shots. It Most words. Like, it looks like it. <laughs> How many words can you get on a page? <laughs> Is it a garata? <coughs> Must be. Because there's no toes so. bus. Uh, stories. Stories right. to live by. I like stories. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Did you see the last night's recording? No, no, I haven't. From the car. Oh, he was driving? No, no, no. He was driving. At the parking lot. No, no, no. <laughs> he stopped at the parking at the hotel in San oh, Diego. Oh, that was Friday. He... Last night was in a hotel room. Oh, yeah. Friday, Friday. I'm sorry. Oh, he's in San Diego. Oh, okay. I didn't he see won. that one. And then Thursday, Susie gave the dog. Not surprised. I'm sure she knows a lot more than I do. <laughs> I don't care. We missed you on Shabbos. It was a nice Shabbos. Yeah, it was a Pico. Yeah, I heard it was a lot of people. Big Kiddish. Yeah, it was very nice. Well attended, very nice. Shy Shack, just a class act. Well, how, how was the Saturday night party? Awful. Why? Because the turnout was like a homeless shelter. It was like last minute, wasn't it? Sort of. Yeah, but Shy was great. I mean, Vartora, I even wrote down what he said. It was, I thought it was so nice, you know. Uh -huh. like, but, you know, I mean, if we want to feed the hungry and the homeless, we're good. <laughs> I mean, everybody's family had made arrangements for something or other by then. Yeah, it was dumb. Yeah. But. I'm not the president. Not my problem. No, no. Are you going to stage a coup? Who would stage a coup for this? <laughs> what kind of moron? Maybe Danish. <laughs> Maybe Danish will stage a coup. Yeah. I, I think if Danish me. doesn't set stage a coup, it tells you something. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh. There he is. Hi, Ernie. Hey, Rabiner. I can't hear you. Oh, Baruch Hashem, you're home. Yeah. I have a and Aleph. We're talking about Abba Umna, who was the blood letter, who was fought, was Abai and Rava 
would only get the uh, uh, like in, uh, the, the, the yeshiva of Lamala would come and visit them once a week. He would have them visit every day. So what were the milas of Abba Unna? Um, the the when the Chachamim visited Abba Unna, they took the mattresses with them. Come of Nafkalu Shukka. They took him out to the market, Machkechinu. And Abu Umna saw them there with the mattresses. Armulay Lashami Marheki Shavu. What do you mean? You're coming to estimate how much these are uh, value? Armulu Hachi Vahachi. They were told they're worth such and such. Armulay Vidilma Shavu Tfei. Maybe they're worth more. Armulu Vahachi Shakilna. We bought them for this and this. Armulay Vitchani. They finally admitted these were yours. We took them from you. So how did you explain to yourself that you were Danas le that we were do that we had these mattresses? I mean, why didn't you think that we were Rashoin? Armelu Amina Pidyon Shvimek Lurabba must be. There was a, a Jew that had to be ransomed. You needed money, and that's why he took the mattresses. But you were just embarrassed to ask me for money. So that's why you took uh, without asking. Okay, so we want to give them back to you. From the moment. I thought of it. I already had. I had uh, my mind set that these would should be given to Tzedakah. I don't need them back. Kachal shaday to the Rava mishum da bayu. Now Rava, um, Baya had the had the shalom uh, ishamayim come erev Shabbos. Rava had it less often. So he was embarrassed. Yeah, but with your zechus, you take care of the whole uh, city. So you have more zechusim, so you have to worry about it. Welcome, Walter. Thank you. Hi, hey, Walter. Welcome back. Rabbi Broyker. Rabbi Broyker. Rabbi Broyker. Rabbi Broyker. Rabbi Broyker. Rav Broca from Chazoy uh, was in the market. And Elyonov was with him. Omer Lay, Ikabai Shuka Bar Al Madosi. He asked Elio, Is there somebody in this market who is somebody who is going to be Zoycha to Elamaba? Omer Lay Loy. Elyonov said, No. Meanwhile, he saw a man wearing black shoes. Normally, Jews didn't wear black shoes. And he didn't, he wasn't wearing tzitzis. Eliyonov, he said to Rav Breika, hi, bar, hi, bar, hi, bar this, this is, this guy is, is uh, destined to be not a Rod Basre, Rav Broika ran after the guy. Tell me the facts of your life. Come back tomorrow. So the next day, he came back and he said, what, what's your profession? I'm a, a, a prison warden. I keep men and women separate. I put my bed in between the men and the women. So I'm a shoymer so they don't get into trouble. Not only that, if there's a Jewish girl and the goyim have put their eye on her, I, I'm moister nefesh and I save her. There was a Na'ara, a girl between 12 and a half who was given Kiddushin. 
and the goyim had put their eye on her. Shortly to die, the charm of the shadi lebe she was blue. Varma did distant you. I took some sediment of grapes that were red, and I put them at the on her garment, and I told them that she was a nita, so that they would stay away from her. Armer lay. So meanwhile, Rav Broca asked questions of the guy. My time lay less lechachuti. The Rambam is Why don't you wear tzitzis? And why are you wearing black shoes? Armer lay. I am not. I am not enough gift to be there in Nachrim. I, I wear non-Jewish clothing, so I can hang around the goyim, so they don't know I'm a Jew. I'm like a spy. I find out when they're going to be Goizer Gzeira. I tell the Chachamim, and they daven, they are davening and they mavatl the Gzeira. Then the Rav Broika asked, My time, Kiamin Lachano, my Uldich Varmin Lazila Yedin Vesolomachar. Why is it that when I told you what is your profession, you told me to come back tomorrow? At that time, I had just heard some news that the Goyim were planning some kind of Xavier, and I had to go tell the Chachamim about it so they could daven. <coughs> Two other men came in to the market. So Elio again said to Rav Broicha, Hanech Nami Bnei Alma Da Asina. These two are also destined to be in Olam Abba. Oz Gavayu. So Rav Broicha went over to the two. Omer Lehu Mai Udaichu. What is your profession? Omer Le Inchi Baduchi Anan. Vatchina Natsivi. We're comedians. And we make people happy. Or Inami. <clears throat> the Islay Tigra, but we see two people fighting. We, we intervene and, and we make shalom between people. Then the Mishnah said, we blow trua wherever we are. A blight. And wheat, while a Yeroko, another disease in wheat. The Al Arbe Vachosil on locust, Valchaya Ro. When wild animals come into the sea. Rabbi Kivo Melashi Dafo, a Yeroko Bechol Shuhu. Any amount of blight is a reason to blow Shafu. Arbe Vachosil, locust, I feel a little near bear to Israel, can I fechel, Master, but even if you find one wing. It's already time to blow shofar. And then Val Chaya, wild animals, Ton Rabonim. Chaya Rosham Rubizman Shehimu Shulachas. When they're running wild, which is unusual, then Masrin Aleyan. Eine Mishulachas. We'll define what this means. What does it mean, Mishulachas or Eine Mishulachas? If it's Eine Mishulachas, Eine Masrin Aleyan. So Ezehu Mishulachas, the Ezuhi Sha'in Mishulach. What's the gather? Nearest by ear, if you find a bear or a tiger in the city, so that's Mishulachas. If you find them Basade in a Mishulach, if you find them in the field, so that's not already reason to blow shofar. Bayom, so that's unusual to see a wild animal in the day. They all usually are shy, only come out at night. So if you see them in the day, Bishulachas, and then you have to daven. And if you two people were running after the animals, or the animals are running after them, so harezim mushulachas. If they go, if they're hiding from the people, so ain't mushulachas, and then you don't have to daven. It tramples two humans and it eats one. If it ate both of them, 
Ain't a mishulachas. Because he was hungry. That's the normal nature of a lion to eat the people. Also, Lagag Venot Lutinok Marisa, wild animal went up to the roof and took an infant from its crib, Mishulachas. That's already unusual. So the Gemara says, and Hagufakasha. Well, that's contradictory. Amrit near Sabi'ir Mishulachas. You said you already told me if you see it in the city, it's already considered Mishulachas. Loshna Bayom, Loshna Bala doesn't make a difference day or night. Vahadar Amrit, and then later on you said Bayom Mishulachas, Balai Lan Mishulachas. So what is it? So Loi Kasha, Achi Kamar. Nirasa Beir Bayom, the wild animal seen in the city during the daytime. Mishulachas, that's a that's a abnormal. Bayir Balaila, but if you see them at night in the city in the Mishulachas, or Inami Basada. If you see them in the field in the daytime, that's not a Mishulachas. Of course, if you see them at night in the field, it's not a Mishulachas. You see two people being chased by an animal, Mishulachas. If the animal doesn't run away, just stands, ain't a Mishulachas. However, Hadar Amrit, Nech Beis Medem, if it physically hides, it's Enem Mishulachas, Ha Oimedes, but if it just stands Mishulachas, so it seems to be a stira. Loi Kasha, Kan Besodas Mukhalagam, depends. If you find it in a field close to a river or a lake, so there an animal's not going to run away, it's going to stand, and that's not going to be considered an unusual thing. So it's ena mishulachas there, but kan besod shenis muchla agam. Where if it stands, it is considered unusual. Tarfish meadum ke echad vachla echad meyam mishulachas. It uh, attacks two people, eats one of them, so that's a mishulachas. But if he eats both of them, ena mishulachas. But you already said if you see it running after them, even if it doesn't attack them, it's considered a mishulachas. In a swampy area, there it's dafka if if they sort of trample them, then it's considered a shiluach of the chayyim. Gufa, also the Gagvinot Latinic Marisa, if it went up to the roof, took a child, Mishulacha, so Pshita, it's in the city. Even in a little hut that are built out for the hunters in the field. So maybe we think there's animals there. So if, if it takes a, an infant, it wouldn't be a reason to blow shofar. It is a reason to blow shofar. Then Alacheret. Certainly, if there's if there are enemy soldiers to fight, that's a pashut. But we're talking elafilu cherv shel shalom, a army that is not an enemy of ours. But if it has weapons, you blow shofar anyways. Parnacho, who was the ruler of Egypt in the time of King Yoshio, he also wanted to travel through Eretz Yisrael in a peaceful manner. Yoshio Melech misunderstood what he should do. He ended up getting killed. Paro sent to Melech Yoshio. I have nothing to, I have no quarrel with you. Don't come out and do battle, I'll, I'll leave you alone. My Elohim What did the 
paro mean that he has gods with him? He had his idols with him. So Yeshua Melech said to himself, Omar, Oh, this king has betoken in his avodah I'll be able to defeat him. In the end, though, he was shot full of arrows. Melech Yoshua was killed. My what does it mean? I'm very sick. His whole body was made like a sieve with hundreds of arrows. Why was Yoshua Melech punished? Yirmiyah Navi was alive. He should have asked Yirmiyah Navi what to do. He didn't ask. My Dorash. The Torah said that swords will not pass through your country. Now he understood my cherev. A cherev of an enemy. Bach's even Bartz already says there'll be peace. Ella Filashul Sholom. I won't allow Kher Shul Sholom to travel through the land of Israel. So Yoshua Melech thought that he would beat them out. However, who ain't a Yodesh ain't door dome yothe. He was at Sadiq, but his door wasn't at Sadiq. So the door did not merit that bracha of an Asadi Shalom Baritz. When Yoshua Melech was dying, Chazal Yirmiyahu Sif says to the Komar Shavon. Yirmiyahu saw that his lips were moving, probably saying something. Omar, Shemachas v'Chalim Milsa Lo Mahagna Omar Agav Tzari. Maybe because he's in so much pain, he's cursing Hashem. So Gochin he bent over, the Shaman he listened to Komatzik Ali Adina Nafshei. He was Matzik that he said Hashem is correct. He, he was doing Tziru Kaden. Omar Tzari Ku Hashem Kifiyu Marisi. Posuk Necha. Posuk Alei Ha'ishai Teruach HaPeinu Mashiach Hashem. This Mamesh Yirmiyahu as a Hesped said that this is a Mashiach Hashem. My Seviyardu Zekenim Yishalayim Lareyam. And if the Zekenim came down to the city and they found a certain amount of blight, then they would be geyser tinus. Yiboilu kemole toner tvua. Is it the amount of wheat to fill up a oven? Or demu kemole toner pas, or the amount of bread to fill up a toner? Toshma kemole pi toner. Adain ti bole kikisuya de toner. Is it only like the opening of the oven? Or demu kidor the rift of the other lelu puma de toner? Like when you bake bread in an oven, you put it all around the opening. So take it. They don't have an answer. There were two wolves that ate two children, and they were Goyser Tainus. The wolves ate the two infants. They came out whole through the rectum. They said that the meat is tom, is tohor because it was digested within the body of the wolves. But the bones, I guess, didn't weren't digested, so the bones were still tomei. City surrounded by goyim or a river is going to flood. Or a boat's going to sink. You see an individual Jew running away from Goyim or from armed robbers. Person has a depression or he has a, a demon inside of him. He's, he's a Michigana. He's going to jump off a roof. Person can accept on himself a tightness to get rid of the Ruach Rad. The person doesn't have the right to do that. 
Because of his weak, weakness, of, because of fasting, he's not going to earn a living. He's going to need to knock on doors to collect money. They won't have pity on him. He'll end up dying. Hashem says, the neshama that I put inside you, you have a chiyuv, an obligation to make sure that you give your neshama life. He said that the you make you blow true on Shabbos for Dever, and the Chacham didn't agree. Maybe they didn't agree with him that you blow on Shabbos, but did they agree with him during the weekday that you blow for Dever? Maybe they didn't agree at all. Tanakama says you blow for plague on Shabbos as well as weekday. And this obviously is the bar plukt of Shimon Atemoni, of Shimon Atemoni, who says, who said that you blow. I'm old, you don't blow. Any evil thing that comes onto the tzibur shlo tovel tzibur masrin alia chutz may rov kshavim. Too much rain. We don't fast for that. My time. When we get something too much, which is a bracha, we don't daven that that should stop. Where is the source that we don't daven that we get rid of too much toiv? Pasuk in Malachi. Bring as much meiser. And you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll make it good to you. Adli die. What does that mean? I'm going to return to you so much wealth that you won't stop saying enough, enough, enough. But in Bavel, if there's too much rain, we do daven that it should stop because there it can flood and it's not a simon bracha. So there you can daven that it should stop. A year that there's too much rain. Daven for your brethren in the Golos that their houses shouldn't be their graves because there's too much rain. What is the simon that there's so much rain that they should stop, that they should daven, that it should stop? Now, Karen Oifa was a very high place, and the rain came up so high, and he'll be able to put his feet into the water. There's another brother says his hands. Raglov ki yodav kamimin, his hands or his feet. Amrav Rav Chana l'didi chazi li keren oifel. I saw this, this place, keren oifel, very high. Shekama utaya ki rachiv gamla. There was an Arab riding a camel. V'nokit rufcha b'yod, he was holding a spear. Mischazi inivi, he looked like a little ant because this place is so high up. Ton rabon. V'nosati gishmechem bi'itam. I will bring you rain in its right time. Lo shikora, not too much, for lotzmeh, not too little. Elabaninus, medium. Shekozman shak shami merubim. If it's too much, metash resorts to make it too wet. Vena what's the appearance doesn't give fruit. Dovarach here. Okay, I'm going to learn another blot tonight. The caption. 